Hi guys, welcome. Ooh, look at my hands from the rock candy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to make this amazingly beautiful rock candy display for you know baby showers, quinceañeras, whatever um, party or event you have going on weddings. It's super quick and easy and very inexpensive. I mean, probably the only pricey thing, honestly, is the freaking rock candy, right? Candy is pricey. But before I even start to show you guys, I really do stress out that you guys do get this kind of paint. It's like a highlighter. When I first started this whole baking thing, um, and they were asking me for like the unicorn cakes, every time I had to paint like the corn or the horn, the horn, um, they're like to use like the gold luster dust. And I saw these videos and I was like, they make it look very easy. And when I tried it, oh my God, it was the hardest thing to do. Like that paint, it was just not pigmented. So then once I came across the highlighter um, and I used it, I was obsessed. I was like, this stuff works amazing. It goes a long way. It's very highly pigmented and it's safe. It's edible, it's safe. Um, so I do not stress this enough. Like I've watched so many YouTube tutorials and no one said what paint was good or pigmented until I came across this one and I will never go back. So highlighters, they have silver, gold, um, and this is how they look, like very amazing. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you guys like what you see. So for this, you will need vanilla extract, clear, the edible highlighter dust. I did find this on Amazon for like six bucks, I believe. Um, make sure it's highlighter. It is highly pigmented. You will need a dappin dish to put in your paint and then a paintbrush. And of course, the rock candy. Now let's get started. First open up all your raw candy and put them off to the side. Add some vanilla extract into your little bowl. Oops, I added a little bit too much, but that's okay. Then just mix it in. I have some in there already, so I'm just kind of mixing it up. See, that's what it looks like. Beautiful. Then you open up your little dust. See, just just nothing but dust in there. Then you grab some with your paintbrush and you mix it all in. See, just like this. Mix, mix, mix. Yep. If you need to add more, you can add more. I think that's perfect. Then I'm gonna grab my rock candy. And I'm just gonna dab it in with the brush just like that and you see how pigmented this stuff is it just goes on very easily and smoothly so I'm just gonna dab it all in where it's missing any paint just like that and I'm just gonna paint it up like halfway down or just a little bit however you think looks nice Missing some on the top, so I'm dabbing in some in paint up in there. Yep. And see, that's what it should look like. Beautiful. And just set it off to the side to dry. Grab the next one, same thing. And see, that's the final result. Just set them out to the side to dry for at least um, the night, and then they should be nice and dry by morning time. See, that's how they look. Ooh. 
now once your rock candy is nice and painted, you're going to grab your display box. I did find that on Michael's for like six bucks and I found these beads also. And he's gonna pour the beads inside the display box. Ooh, be careful. Just like that. Spread them out. Make sure they're nice and even. Just like that. Since the rock candy is a little heavy, I did um, buy beads to fill up the top of the box just to kind of hold it because when I first did this, the candy was just kind of like not staying in the one spot that it should. Um, so I do recommend to use quite a few of these beads. You're just gonna grab your rock candy and you're gonna stick it in all over wherever you look wherever you think it looks nice. Just like that. Perfect. Just look at how pretty that looks. There is about a dozen of these that I put into the display box. And voila, there it is. Your raw candy display box, all nice and shiny, wow.